Hi everyone, welcome to Yogetic. My name is Esther and today I'm going to show you how to bake my favorite bread. What we're going to do is start with the flour. I use spelt flour but you can also use regular flour. So 450 grams in total from which I take a third white so that's about 110 grams and then you fill it up with brown wholemeal flour to 450. So 450 grams in total from which one third white, two third brown. You can put it in a big bowl. And with the dry mix, this is the dry mix, goes one teaspoon, flat teaspoon baking soda. Don't do more, don't do a heap teaspoon because your bread will turn out green and that's not good. So put it in a sieve and just spread it over the dry mix that way. Then also a teaspoon of salt. A flat teaspoon is usually enough. So, okay, so that's the dry mix. Stir it a bit just to mix up the bread soda with the salt and the flour mix. And then we're going to make the wet mix. So if you make spelt bread, first you need to put in the egg and then fill it up with buttermilk to 500 milliliter. If you make regular bread, so you use regular flour, then you first put in buttermilk till 500 milliliter and then you put on top of it the egg, okay? So mine is spelt, so I first throw in the egg. And then on top of that the buttermilk and fill it up till 500 milliliter. And you stir the egg into the milk. And you also need a little bit of sunflower oil in the wet mix. And then again, stir the egg, the sunflower oil and the milk. So you've got the dry mix and you've got the wet mix. Now, I like to put some seeds in my dry mix so that the bread is with seeds. And I'll throw in a handful of sunflower seeds and some golden linseed. I love pumpkin seeds. I don't do too many of those. And finally, oops, the poppy seeds. And once more, just mixing it through. So I made a bit of a well in the middle of the dry mix and I'm going to pour the wet mix into it. And maybe you leave a little bit just in case it's too wet. And you're gently going to stir it in with an open hand, with your fingers open and you only go one way. So we're not kneading this dough. This dough just sort of has to mix very gently. So it's probably good to see how wet the mix is because in the beginning it could seem like that's not right. So it's really wet, yeah. Okay, so now we put the wet mix straight away so you don't leave it in any way. So you mix it, you put it in and you put it in the oven. Um, I use a silicone bread shape, but um, if you use something else you might need to put a little bit of butter in so it won't stick. But with silicone it doesn't stick at all. So I don't need to put anything in to make sure that doesn't happen. So just as much of the wet mix into the shape as you can. So when the wet mix is in the shape, when all the, well the whole mix is in the shape, you're going to put loosely, so we're not folding it around, some tin foil over the form and Put it in the oven, preheat it on 200 degrees and you put it in for 40 minutes and then after 40 minutes you take the tin foil off and you leave it for another 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so remember that after 40 minutes you want to take the tin foil away and leave it for another 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so this is it. 
bread is finished, we can take it out. And take the bread out as well. And leave it to cool down before you start eating it. So obviously homemade bread don't, doesn't look exactly like when you get it from the bakery, but it's absolutely very tasteful. So try it out and let me know what you think of it.